What's up? It's your boy Carcino here. And let's talk about codes of conduct. Codes of conduct um, or the media's codes of rules of conduct that they have of professionalism when conducting, covering a boxing event. Now, we've all had media credentials. Some are very easy to get. Some are very hard to get in the sport of boxing. And when you're going to acquire these um, media credentials, um, due to the fact that there's a large group of people who are basically YouTube-oriented, you know, they don't really have a website domain. they just YouTube-oriented. Sometimes they get credentials somehow. I don't know what's been happening. And during the Canelo Alvarez fight against Amir Khan, uh, a lot of things were happening that Golden Boy Promotions didn't like. So the changes were made that they had to go to and follow the rules. The rules have always been there. But they were never, ever really focused on until, like, this a fight here, this event. Now, the first rule is there is no photos. There is no, like, pictures or filming or anything. You're not to film the fight or, in general, what's going on in the ring. You're not to cheer for anyone. There is no rooting for one fighter over the other. Your job is to be non-biased, sit there, observe the action, make your your inquisitions or whatever, and put that there. And there's no drinking. You are not to bring any drinks in the media area. If you're going to drink, now you can't be in the media area with drinks. You know? And you cannot... It stop celebrities or fighters and start asking them for pictures and things of that nature. That's out. And do not bring any boxing gloves, any posters or anything else with you. Asking for autographs and all that stuff. Don't do it. If you're in media, you must act like media. And see, the problem is boxing fans get media passes and they're not doing their jobs correctly. They're just there doing whatever they want to do. And certain people in the media have to follow the guidelines because they are guided. They don't want to lose their jobs. Basically, this is what they do. And they get paid for it. And then they see some people that just never had any training whatsoever, they just like wild it out. Yo, what's up? Yay! Let me get a picture right quick. I'm with my boy Nello. What's up? We kicking it hard. Man, we gonna go get some drinks later, right? And a lot of these guys from YouTube, even though they good spirited, they don't mean no harm, it affects the professionalism of what the media is trying to do. And when the questions came about uh, towards Canelo, it was more of a an aggressive state by Golden Boy saying, like, we got to get real media in here. We got to start toning it down. We got to start putting up provisions because there's too much stuff going on. People are taking videos of the fight. People are doing all these extra things as far as videotaping our guys or our people. It's just too much. And this is for media. No way. This guy's got a media media pass and he's back there talking to our celebrities and guests. No. It's too many people were in places they shouldn't have been. So they're cracking down. Whether this will be a worldwide thing, I don't know. But it, right now, it's only for Golden Boy Promotions. So, that's where they are right now. It's your boy Carcino. I'm out. Tell me what you think about this rule change. Sean's in love with it because he's he's he was on this a long time ago. So he was like, I don't see no problems with it. Way to go. <laughs> but y'all tell me what y'all think. Do you think Golden Boys being paranoid and obsessive? Or do you think it's good for the sport or good for the actual business? Y'all let me know.